As women, sometimes we have to start over. Our next guest knows this all too well. Stay tuned for more Every Way Woman. Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So we celebrate the trailblazers, and today we welcome Robin to the show, a woman who has truly perfected the art of redefining herself and restarting at any age. Welcome. So I really want to talk to you about what it was like to reinvent yourself. I think at the time you don't think about it, or you shouldn't think too closely about it. You just do what seems natural. You follow whatever path is sort of outlined for you without trying to take too much control. So let's rewind back to what your path was. Let's talk about the crossroads you were at in your life. Okay, I was a prison guard <laughs> in male Very. maximum security. You are a tough blonde. <laughs> which I am, a tough cookie. Um, which you find you don't want to do for the, your entire life, or, or I did No, no, of course. And I thought it would be fun to write. So I was trying to think how I could get into advertising from prison guarding. And it's not sort of one of those natural career paths. So I, I got a job at, with a temporary office service that sent people in when somebody was sick. So you worked your way through this transition, but were you yeah. scared? No, I wasn't. Because at that time, I was fairly young, and I didn't think much about it. Okay. So I worked but for this service, and I only went to advertising agencies and sort of got to know it gently, you know, by being at and the office. And this wasn't the first time you've restarted or reinvented. I mean, you fast-forwarded a couple times, even as, even as a mother. Your children grew out of the nest. Now you have to reinvent yourself, not as a mother, but as a woman again, as Robin. That's true. And that, that took a little more thought, because you're used to being Jesse's mom or Robert's mom, and suddenly you're Robin again. And um, you're, you're not quite sure how to do that anymore. <laughs> it's been a while. So I think the biggest thing is to talk to other women and to talk to everybody, really. And talk that's why you're here. And to that's talk why to I'm here. here. Okay. There's women here. <laughs> yes. And you know, other women are so smart. And they always seem to know different things from you. And so you, you get to know. You know you but get don't ideas. you feel like some women are afraid to ask? I think they are, and I think that's a mistake. Women love to talk, or any woman I know loves to talk. I and like to talk. I, I mean, like at the too. grocery store, wherever you are, at school, picking up your kids, if that's what you're doing, talk to the other women. Talk to everybody. At that time when you were um, transitioning your life and you said that you have to talk to other women, what was one thing that someone told you that still sticks with you today? Well, when I was... Um, finally got my green card down here, and I'd been out of advertising long enough that that wasn't going to work for me anymore. I, another woman at the school said, I think America's hiring flight attendants. Why don't you try that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and How I thought, old were you at this point, if you don't mind sharing? I was 45 when I started to be a flight attendant. And, and I wasn't the most oldest. people would consider that, you know, maybe even too late in life to restart a career. A little right. long in the tooth. But flight attendants aren't quite what we used to picture them, you know, when you were weighed every day and and you had to be single and um, all well, that kind of Well, you know, thing. it's really interesting, though, because at 45, you were willing to step into a position where it was off. It was adventure time. You weren't staying at it home was. anymore. You were all over the world. And that was part of it, that I think you have to look on life as an adventure. Every decision you make is an adventure. And I think you have to realize nothing is final. If I'd become a flight attendant and I loathed it, I would have quit and found something I liked better. Because we're allowed to do that. We can, we can find what makes us happy. But not if we're afraid to make a jump ever. You know, I even find in my life, as I'm approaching you know, my later 20s. Oh, I'm my God. I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm, afraid to, I'm almost afraid to make that choice or make that decision and say, you know what, maybe what I, the decision I made when I was in my younger 20s isn't going to work for me in my 30s. And being okay with that and settling with that, I almost feel like I'm letting myself down. There's very few decisions you can make that are going to be final. Where you can change your mind. You can go back and try something else. And I think that's the biggest lesson to learn. Don't be afraid of taking a jump into the unknown just because you're afraid that, that you're never going to be able to fix it if it's wrong. But were you afraid? Um, I don't think so, no. no? I, I don't think I was afraid. Nervous, maybe. Nervous. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. But yeah. No, but well, not you, makes sense. afraid because, you know, I have friends, I have a family. 
if it didn't work out, I would have to try something so, else. That's all. You know what? I have a question. I know someone who is in her 50s, and she's very close to me. And, you know, her kids are all done with school. They have jobs. They have their own families. They're out of the house. And it's this woman and, and her husband. But they're even having problems now within their marriage. And I think it's because, and tell me what your thoughts are on this. I think it's because she is almost depressed about her life right now. She's in this bubble where she's like, what next? What now? Mm -hmm. My kids are gone. They have their own lives. Is my life over? Did you ever feel like that? Or could you, can I you relate to that? I didn't because I was working when mm -hmm. my kids left um, home and, and, you know, but what would they you haven't say left to my life. They're what still very active in my life. I think, uh, first of all, get a dog. Second yes. of all, maybe go back to school. Find something. Mm -hmm. Follow her passion. Don't look for something where you can make a lot of money or just something that'll make her happy. Mm -hmm. What am I interested in? Oh, I'm interested in art. I'll go to art school for a mm -hmm. while. You know, something like that. Just Well, thank you for inspiring something. us and for yes. inspiring all of you out there. We'll be right back for more Every White Woman. <laughs> Stay tuned.